Nej. 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 So I am eating Subway right now. <laughs> I know it's weird to me to do that. <laughs> um, but welcome to Fake Gamers Lounge, episode 38. Once again, I'm joined by Jake. Yeah. The true MVP of the channel right now. Yeah. Um, the others can suck my dick. Um, but yeah, you know. Rebecca can too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially Rebecca. <laughs> Especially her. Um, I know Jacob is fuming right now when he heard that. He's like, mm, he's going to lose some weight. He's going to lose some weight because of it. Because he's so pissed. He's going to go to the gym, work out, get gains, still get no bitches. I'm going to steal all the bitches he gets. Because <laughs> I have that YouTube money. I have all the YouTube money. All thousand dollars of YouTube money. That is the only a thousand dollars I've gotten from YouTube. Never, never since I got it in November. No more money. Um, but yeah. <coughs> yeah. I do have stories oh, from work. Um, so I think it was a, I think it was yesterday where, um, you know, obviously I don't really drive, so my parents take me to work. I, when you say, like, don't really drive, it means you don't drive at all. <laughs> I, I haven't driven in, like, since summer. Matt, you don't have your license. I have a permit. Oh, really? Yeah, I got a permit oh, nice. last year. Oh, nice. All yeah. right. <laughs> all right, then. I thought I told everyone. Oh. Or was I just in a neglectful state? I probably was in a neglectful state where I just didn't want to talk to anyone. That's probably what happened. Um, but yeah. Sweet. And I, I don't trust myself driving in the mornings anyways. You know, because like, I'm tired. So you don't want to take the test just to get... <laughs> The reason I haven't been driving is because it's been winter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. Fine. Uh, so I'm waiting until, like, springtime to do it. Yeah. But anyway, so my parents take me to work. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, for some reason, we pull into this parking lot. And keep in mind, this was the morning when it was raining. So, was that Thursday or Wednesday? I think it was Thursday. Um, could I know it's like check my uh, journal, um, but. <laughs> I don't yeah I don't think it was too because I I went to the gym in the morning yesterday so it didn't it wasn't too bad out when I went it was like yeah maybe like maybe it was like early in the morning but <coughs> it was I, early in the morning okay because yeah. because I was I was like out of my this was at seven okay seven okay because I was like out and about at like noonish yeah and it was like fine out. Yeah, I had to get a haircut, and then I went to the gym. <laughs> um, yeah, it doesn't really matter which day it was, uh, but it does matter to the story that it was raining. Mm -hmm. So basically, we pull into the parking lot, and my mother spots this dog uh -oh. just roaming about. I think lost no or something. No collar? No collar on it. Mm. Um, yeah, so right away, I got worried, right? And we get... Uh, breakfast at Duncan. Um, so I literally Typical. could, yeah, it, <laughs> Massachusetts things. Um, and I couldn't eat my donut because, like, I was so focused on, like, the dog. So, like, my dad got out of the car and was, like, trying to get near the dog. Oh, yeah, that's. Um, to try and, like, not, like, pick it up or anything. He was trying to get close to the dog enough to, like, take a picture just to see if there's anything on the collar. To see, like, oh, so there was address. a call? Yeah, there was a call. Okay. A, a badge thing, whatever it's called. Um, and tag? yeah, tag. Okay. Um, and pretty much the dog was noticeably frisky a bit because I don't think it knew where it was necessarily, okay. I think. Which is weird because I'll get to the point in the story. But pretty much it was skittish. It wouldn't let my dad get near it. And keep in mind, it's raining, okay. drizzling. At this time, oh, yeah. so the dog is wet, and the parking lot we're in is dirt. So when you combine that with the rain, it's gonna be muddy. So it's not good for the dog. Um, 
we give the dog treats because we have treats obviously for our dog when my parents take her on walks um <coughs> and pretty much like the the dog eats the treats but then eventually like fox off onto the other side of the building and my parents were like fuck it we no we're gonna stay by because like you know we it's a pretty dangerous area it's like a manufacturing area um so pretty much like um we follow it get in the car follow it and we end up in another parking spot my dad gets out again um from the car gives him more treats and my mother's like what if we call i forgot animal what it was control. animal control yeah um and they don't open until eight apparently so yeah um imagine i'm like when if i went in at eight it would have been fine to call them like in a few moments but you know which is why i don't know why it's never open 24 7 it, to me it doesn't make sense why it's not open 24 7 i have an animal control story dude because ours is crazy <laughs> all right uh, save it but uh, yeah but yeah it just reminded me of it <clears throat> yeah you can tell because i do have another story if i'm okay. after this yeah like um just Jake. For, like i know i'm not trying to tell a story i'm just trying to add for like <laughs> okay video. so yeah. it's like usually um it's really <laughs> hard to get a dog's attention like that, so I'm kind of surprised yeah. that we're able to get its trust like that. Because usually, like, if you try to approach it, they'll just run off and scared, or I think they're either yeah. like they're scared, or they're like they think you're trying to play with them, and they'll just like think you're trying to chase. Them. Yeah, I I think my family is somewhat like good with animals because mm-hmm. obviously I think you know since we've had our dog, yeah. it definitely helps like with like to know what to do in a situation with the dog. Um, so yeah, we follow the dog to a smaller parking lot, give it treats, try calling animal control, couldn't, and, um, like, ten minutes later, this is really bizarre, this random guy in a car passes through, and I don't really hear the conversation, but apparently the guy, this random ass guy, recognized the dog as his boss's dog, and, like, so pretty much dad my dad like goes to the uh i think factory or some shit next door from where i work and the dog instantly runs to the person in the car and then playfully runs runs back to like my dad because like at this point the dog has my dad has earned the trust of this dog in a span of 10 minutes because you know Food. Yeah, food, pretty much. All those streets. Um, that that dog was feasting. Feasting in the morning. Um, so, yeah, it, it was cute, though. Like, when they were heading over there, like, the dog was following, like, right behind my dad. I don't know if your dog ever does it. Well, like, they follow you, like, two inches away from you. But, like, that's what that dog was my doing. My dog's currently wearing a cone right now. So oh. she will ram into me. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at that. I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't know if it's serious. Is it, it is serious. Oh, I'm sorry then. Sorry. Um, we we kind of find it funny because every time she has a cone on, she just goes like this and just starts oh no. knocking shit down. <laughs> I guess that's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, so yeah, the dog and the guy go in the building next door, and that was that. Like for some reason. The dog goes to work with the owner. I don't know how the dog got out. I don't know the context at all. But, you know, I am trusting that that guy took the dog in there in a safe environment. And, I mean, that's uh, a very specific story. Yeah. I, I wouldn't, like, call, like, BS on Yeah. in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. It was so bizarre. Like, I was just I, so distracted from the dog the whole time. And I wanted to get out to help my dad. But, you know, obviously he didn't want to get bit because, like, can dogs have babies? 100% yes. I figured, but, yeah, so he didn't want to risk getting bit. Um, which I don't blame him. Because, like, once We've already get, talked about on the channel yeah, how rabies is it terrifying. Is absolutely terrifying. I would not want that ever. So yeah, I don't blame him for not going up to it. Um, at all, you know. 
But uh, yeah, hopefully the dog had a good ending. Uh, ran up in an area of people he knew or she knew. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So you tell your story and then I'll tell my other story. Okay, about so <laughs> um, my grandparents, <coughs> my grandparents, um, they live across the street from me. Like not like on your side, but like on another side. Mm -hmm. um, you probably might have known that already, but um, animal control came to their house. Um, well, they don't live in a house; they live in like not like an apartment, but it's like it's just a house, two, like two in one houses. Yeah, like they're like uh, like there's like multiple floors, and each family lives on a mm. different floor. So and they're like kind of small. They've been living there since I was like since I could ever remember. But yeah, animal control came, and they were like, "Yeah, we have complaints of an animal." in your house <laughs> and my grandfather was like we don't have animals here and they're like well we need to search the place like for an animal and he's like um my wife is blind like we can't have an animal here yeah and they they went in anyway okay and searched my place my grandparents place for an animal because they got a complaint that there was an animal <laughs> like on the loose or something yeah but they don't have animals. They didn't check outside of the house? Nope. They went right. And, like, they didn't... They they just went in anyway. Like, like maybe you probably need paperwork and stuff for yeah. that, I'm assuming. They God just damn. went right in. The searching fuck? the place. Like, it's so fucking bizarre. What the fuck? That's yeah. not right. That is not right. And then I know... Another time, um, we had a, oh my god, I hate, we had a bat situation, and I hate bats. Yeah. Um, <coughs> this was like years ago, and the animal control person was like on our porch, and they tell my dad like, you shouldn't leave all these like bird feed lighting around. You'll attract animals. Like, like you kind of like giving him an attitude. Like, like it's just bird feed. Exactly. I damn. Yeah, maybe we do like, but maybe we like seeing squirrels on our porch. Yeah, squirrels are cute as fuck. Did you know I picked up a dead squirrel once? Did I tell you? My dog attacked a squirrel in front of me. And it You just it like that for real. It died. <laughs> it's what happened was, I like, up. my I think my dog broke its leg, <laughs> yeah. so it could not get back up the tree. Yeah, that's fucked. So... It just kind of just obviously it can't run, yeah. so it just kind of sit there froze. My oh, yeah. my parents and my mom and my sister basically surrounded it, and they were trying to like give it like care. Or, like this was like the closest I've gotten to a squirrel because everyone knows squirrels are fast. Yeah, like you, <laughs> and are really really dangerous. <laughs> yeah, very vicious little beings. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we're like circling <laughs> around this, and a couple neighbors too. Like we're circling around this one squirrel. And then we just stopped seeing it. So it died. You stopped seeing it? Yeah. It just gone one day. Jeez. He... You didn't put it in like a special area from like... No. I the, didn't know what to... Away from the dog? Like what do you do? Like do you call like a vet and being like, hey. Or like animal control to be like, hey. There's a squirrel here. With a <coughs> injured squirrel here. Like, I probably like would have. Maybe. I'm not sure. That reminds me of the time. No, it happened like, and it happened like so <laughs> quick because I, I was taking my dog for a walk, and then like I hear like the like the like growling and stuff, and I'm like, yeah. what? I'm like, what's going on? And I turn, I just see her just on lunging at this like squirrel, like like down like on the squirrel, like attacking. I'm like, oh my! I was like trying to pull, and <laughs> I have a big dog, and yeah. My dog's muscular. Yeah. So it's hard to, like, I'm like, mm, a, come on. Was it a German Shepherd? <laughs> yep. Yeah. He was a big. Yeah, you've seen my dog before. Yeah. I was just trying to see if I yeah. could remember the name of it. Because I'm bad with dog names. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have a similar story to that. It's not a squirrel, but it's a bird. Um... I forgot when it was. I think it was like 2016, 2017. Mm -hmm. But my family, my mother, I don't know if one of my sisters was there, but me and my mother at least found this bird who could not fly 
for some reason. So what we did was we took it down in this room because, uh, you know, we didn't want it to be outside and not uh, be able to fly okay. with um, possible animals. Like, you know, all the cats in this neighborhood roam around. They can get in our backyard. Oh, yeah, that was, that was a crazy time. Yeah. <laughs> that reminds me of something as well. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, We've talked about that on the channel before, the cat problem. The, that one house. The crazy My cat neighbor, lady. yeah. Yeah, yeah. We can get to that in a second. Oh, I remember, <laughs> do you remember in junior year? I, Hang on. I did, shut uh, the. F- I'm sorry. Shut up. But it was about it though. Shut the fuck up. Let me tell the board story. You always do this, Jake. The board story. The. You know I can't pronounce my eyes. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Don't do this to me. Come on. Um. Right. So we take it downstairs. What and kind of bird was it? A fucking wild bird, Jake. But like, what color? It was black. A, a raven? A, a crow? Sure. Raven and crow. Okay. Um, one of our hamsters had recently passed away. Uh-huh. So we put the bird in that, uh, that cage. Gave it some water. Uh-huh. Gave it some food. We got a lot of food. I think just whatever birds bird, eat or some shit. Bird food. Yeah. Bird feed. <laughs> yeah, bird feed. Um, and eventually... I think one day, like after a couple of days, we noticed it could kind of move around. So I, I forgot if we actually saw it trying to fly in the cage. So we took it out, took the cage out, opened it, and went flying. Yeah. It was a beautiful sight. We saved the bird, me and my mother. We deserve medal a of Nobel, honors. A Nobel yeah. Peace Prize. <laughs> yeah, a Nobel Peace Prize from Joe Biden. So, Joe, if you're watching this, buddy, call me up. My phone number is 826-5874. Or if that's someone's real phone number and they get calls. <laughs> <sighs> but, yeah. Um, the crazy cat lady. You have a story. You know, I'll tell my well, story. I was going to say, like, remember junior year we had to do <coughs> news stories and I did yeah, that's, the I news story that. about Yeah. Her. Yeah. <laughs> Her house was so fucked on the inside. Oh my god. Was yeah. there like vines or some shit? Like moth or moss? Okay. So, <laughs> so context I had back in the day, a neighbor. Mm-hmm. She was the worst. Mm-hmm. Um, I rem- um, she had, I don't know much about like the family, but I know she had a daughter who was darker skinned. She started going to our middle school, like just out of nowhere. She was just like, I remember seeing her on the bus stop. I'm like, oh no, she's here. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Do you remember? She had like glasses. Glasses? Yeah, uh, she was on our bus stop. She was at our bus stop. No, actually. She would, she generally, like, she sometimes wore like a bun for her hair. Like, mainly. Like, she, I, and, like, she, she was I, I she wish was, I could remember. Yeah, she went to our, she started <laughs> going to our school. And I remember sometimes I'd be outside, I hear them screaming, yeah. like dumb domestic violence shit. Yeah. But she had this huge problem that she kept a lot of cats. I don't know how many she had to exact, but I think <laughs> it was in the double digit range, I think. Or but it was crazy. Yeah, they were all outdoor. May they were all mainly outdoors, so they she just let them do whatever the heck they want. And I am, I have still a strong opinion that cats should stay inside. Yeah, it is dangerous out there, and they are they themselves are dangerous. Yeah. And if you don't think so, I know there <coughs> is a story about one cat being released on an island and drove an entire species of bird to extinction by one cat. Did that. <laughs> He is him. <laughs> um, like, and they were roaming the neighborhood. They probably were at your house. They were on my roof. Like, how yeah. did cat get on the roof? <laughs> the, I remember I was with my old neighbor because we used to hang out like the two thousands. Yeah. And there was like a random cat, and I petted it. You know, it's just yeah. like in, in my yard. You're about to be in my backyard. So, so what happened was <laughs> this was like our junior year, obviously. Yeah. So, oh yeah, I also remember this sometime in high school too. One was killed in front of my house, Jesus. hit by a car, like before I went to school, just 
Outs- outside. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucked. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I just remember like looking out the window, seeing my neighbor, waltz like around, just carrying it, just crying, like carrying its body. Like and then in the street I, or some shit. Wow. Okay. And I think she just. I don't know what she did with it. I might not be remembering everything, but I think my mom said it went in the garbage. But I highly doubt that. She because probably you, ate it. Oh my. <laughs> so anyway, the big like thing. Yeah. So this neighbor just suddenly disappears one day. Yeah. Just gone. So everyone was like, all the whole neighborhood was like. Where it like where'd she go? And second of all, she has a crap load of cats. Like, what are they gonna do? So, kind of a group, mainly my dad. They stormed the house. Well, not literally. Like, <laughs> they down, the, 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 <laughs> they didn't break down the door. I, I, I kind of, I kind of, yeah, I kind of wish they did, but <laughs> but they were Probably looking not. out. They were it looking out the, the window and stuff, and they just saw shit all over the floor. Yeah. Like really gross. Yeah. And then she pulls into the driveway and tells them to get off her property. So they were like, um, where have you been? And apparently that was not her house anymore. So she didn't have the right to tell them to get off the yeah. property. Um, <laughs> I think animal control was called. They, they, they barged in. They, 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 I think they rescued a very small amount of cats, took them to the shelter, yeah. hopefully to get some better homes where they can stay inside and be safe. But Yeah. Yeah, they also had a dog, too, that was severely overweight. Oh. And that just disappeared one day. Like Probably ate all the cats. No, like, this was this was before. Like, he just... Cause, yeah, and everyone was like, wait, didn't you have a dog, too? And I remember the dog, actually. Just, do you... This wasn't, like, just... It was fat. It was obese. Like, this was, like... <laughs> Like, like the body proportions were so off. It was so. Oh, they have a chubby. Like back. no, it was wide. Like oh, like wide? absurdly wide. I, I like it was obese. I don't necessarily remember the fatness of the dog, but it was I do like the, it, like it, like the dog. But like the, yeah, so then <coughs> you know probably, and then the house was just left. Yeah. One thing I remember about it. There was a dead possum on the driveway hmm. at, at, some, at some point after this. And then every time I'd look, it was still there. And I had the unfortunate pleasure of watching that thing rot into the driveway. Yeah, your window was the like, one facing kinda, the driveway. Like, <laughs> like, vultures probably went at it, Yeah, eating it. And like I remember just the last thing was left of it was just a giant blood stain on their driveway. Oh my god. Of the possum. That was like, and obviously it was sunny out. Yeah. So it looked, it was like evaporated blood too. Like, yeah. like dried blood. The crispy blood. The bacon so color. So eventually, um, <coughs> they fixed the house, I think. Yeah, they, they, they did. So, yeah, they fixed a lot of it. Obviously cleaned up the driveway. Like, and I remember like the news report I talked about, they literally talked about the possum too. Yeah. They were like, oh yeah, there's also a possum just riding on the driveway. <laughs> Here's a picture of it. <laughs> and yeah. it was a big possum too like you can see it from my backyard like oh, Lord, <coughs> oh my god Jesus but, Christ. yeah new family moved in um it's I a beautiful know. house now yeah i don't know if they knew what went down in that house uh, hopefully they don't i'm sure yeah. the parents do the adults do yeah hopefully the kids don't but they also like they all but instead of a lot of cats they have a lot of kids yes <laughs> they have like a school amount of kids <laughs> Like they could fit like that in the summer group of kids the, in a over bus. the summer like this like not this past not this summer year. Yeah. yeah the past summer they have kicked the ball into our yard so many times that they kept like ringing our doorbell and I would have to answer the door and I look I would look like complete garbage being like hi what's up and they're like oh our bar balls in your um in your yard. can <laughs> we go get it I'm like yeah I'll go get it it's no problem. <laughs> And it just happens so many times because yeah. they party. But I will take that over like animal abuse. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Um, because they scarce. also don't like my dog, so they just build a giant fence just so they don't see my dog. <laughs> yeah, I don't like dogs as much as a child either. And it wasn't like the kids; it was the, <laughs> it was the parents. The parents didn't. Oh, 
Yeah, they, they just they just built a they just redid and got a new fence. Yeah, I mean to be fair though, it is a very there was there also fence. like and then another thing with like the previous like that like when you're talking about like moss and stuff, they had a tree. If you remember, they had a tree in their yard, and it was like branching over to our yard and would just leave like garbage in our yard. Didn't it like go around yeah. the fence? Yeah. yeah. They got rid of it though. I was like, yes, like, things <coughs> sucked. I dude, I remember. I think it was a part of the strum in 2010. Um, but I remember your fence and their fence was just like caved in. Oh yeah, oh yeah, because a, a tree fell down. Yeah, the tree fell on it. Yeah, that was crazy. That was a crazy. It was like night. that for years. That was a cr- yeah, like the like obviously the tree went away, but they but like our fence had a big like curve on yeah. it. <laughs> big ass curve. Yeah, it looks like a Jacob Mullen sound on it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, man, I remember that night. That was a crazy <coughs> night. Just coming home and just seeing a tree fell on your in your yard. Just I like, remember like the day, the morning after me and my sisters watching Duncan from my house, and there was like trees on the fucking ground, yeah. power cords along them as well. We had to be super careful. I don't know why my parents allowed us to go to a Duncan the morning after, <laughs> but you know what? It was a good adventure. It was a good bonding experience for me and my sisters. One of them died though. I only have two sisters left. It's not funny. Cynthia, if you watch this from heaven, I miss you. Cynthia? <laughs> <laughs> um, um. Yeah. Yeah. I don't... And then, I, in terms of the... Like, after the, like, during and after this whole day, the daughter was still at the high school. Yeah. But then she disappeared, too. So, I don't know if they moved. <coughs> I don't know. Hopefully, she has a different parents... I mean, she wanted to fuss. Yeah, because, like, like, obviously, she was dark-skinned. Yeah. So, and this lady was a pale white woman with red hair. Completely black. Maybe adoption or black yeah, father. Like, how uh, black are we talking? Dark. Dark, dark. Possibly yes. adoption, then. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I don't know much. But, yeah. yeah, she's just straight up. Like just disappeared i think yeah i think yeah actually she disappeared during this whole thing in junior year i think that's when she disappeared like <coughs> after everything she just was gone yeah because they probably because everyone probably knows yeah. that your mother was a animal abuser who kept them in crappy conditions yeah. just locked inside a house when you lose your property yeah Hopefully that girl's doing better now. Yeah, I don't even know her name, so I'm like, I don't even remember. Yeah, her. no, I don't know. I don't at all. Like, I don't. Like, I just, I just remember just her in the bus stop during middle school that she was, she had a really like raspy, whiny voice. Yeah. And I remember her. I remember seeing her mowing the lawn. <laughs> Their grass got big. Thick, yeah. Yeah grass was dummy thick <laughs> <laughs> i remember another time in my yeah I remember, yeah uh, yeah I, and i i remember yeah i remember just seeing her mowing the lawn and her mom just sitting back and i'm like oh man do i need to call cps this guy would be racially motivated <laughs> racially <laughs> yeah like and like i said Drinking I, like lemonade. i said like i said i've uh, i've heard them screaming yeah inside <laughs> when i was outside like that's how loud they were being i'm surprised no one I'm surprised no one called in a noise complaint. <coughs> I know. I don't think the house next to them wanted though, because I don't know if you remember the kid that used to live there next to their house. Oh, man, but it was like I don't know it? our neighborhood lore, so I don't really like. Oh, I, 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 <laughs> I we had our own stuff with the. I don't know if it's bound anymore, but like the the house that has the flag hanging up in front of it. I will say that in yeah around our neighborhood. Okay, so I used I have to. When I would take my dog frog, I have to go to the high school now, because <coughs> in our neighborhood, this guy did not like my dog barking so much that he did threaten to shoot my dog. Oh my god! And me. Oh. Like he was like, like get off, like, like can you shut that thing up or I'll shut it up? And I'm like, I was like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Are you, uh, bro, are you dead ass? And I almost had an anxiety attack. Yeah. So for my my for context, my dog is obviously 
my when I say like my dog attacks a squirrel, the, my dog's not a bad dog. Yeah, my dog's a good dog. She's she's a very she's well she's, a, she's mis she she might be mis she might misbehave a lot, <coughs> but she's like a good dog. She yeah. she she's you know she values family. Yeah, my family. So if I'm walking and there's a dog, she will or at any time she will go absolutely like crazy like she will go go up in mode. So I was walking <coughs> once. And, and then my mom would be like, okay, just try to stay on one side, like, you'll be good. So imagine to my surprise when I'm walking, I am stuck in a fork in the road, because on both sides people were walking their dog. <laughs> and my dog went ballistic, and I was having an exa- I, I was having a panic attack, so I'm like, if I go straight, which I'm supposed to do, something could happen. Yeah. My dog could get close. Like, I don't think my dog would attack, but, like, they would definitely be, like, close. Yeah. And I literally call... And, and obviously, when you... Like, dogs are smart like this. They will know if you're having a panic attack. Yeah. So, they'll start panicking, too. So, it just made things worse. I remember, I called my mom. Just being like, can you just come drive around the corner? Come get us, because, like, I'm kind of trapped right now. Because I don't know what I'm supposed to do. She's like, she's like, it's fine. Just make it. I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, of course you would say that. So I had to power through home, and I'm just like, and my mom kind of yelled at me like, "What was that?" I'm like, I was like, "Mom, there was dogs on both sides. <coughs> I couldn't just <coughs> if I went straight, it couldn't have some. They were like way too close. The dogs could have kissed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah." I can't have that. Yeah. It was like, so now I have to walk to the, the high school when I would mm. have to walk. I had walked last time. I, I I haven't in so long, but like, when I would do, I would, I would now go to the high school, which kind of <laughs> sucks now because if she ends up going to the bathroom, I have to carry that all the way home. Yeah. And I hate that. It's not a bad place to walk a dog, though. I see. It isn't. Yeah. But like I said, Public but place. if but I mean if she if she poops, I have to walk all the way home. There's no with trash a bag. bins outside. I don't want to be a dick and leave like a bag of dog shit in someone's trash and be like, who's no, like, this? No, like because of the school. Does the school oh. not have trash outside? I don't like walk into the school. I walk like outside. No, I, I'm asking if because I, I haven't been there in a while. If there's <laughs> trash bins outside. I don't think outside the school there is any trash. That's that's honestly kind of dumb. I feel. I, w- I mean, I would if like. Yeah. But yeah, like it was. Because like fuck it, it's just the school. So yeah, it was like. <laughs> it's kind of a pain. Like I know, like, I know they have to, but like. It's it's <laughs> because I since it, and that's why I did the neighborhood because I could just go right home. Yeah. Like easily. <laughs> and just. For sure. Then I would like, you know. Throw it out in my tr- my own trash bin, and then go inside. You know, clean, <laughs> clean up because like I have OCD and I don't want dog poop germs to phasing through the bag. And yeah, never good, never good. Yeah, so it's kind of why I stopped because it was like because I would go all the way to high school and that would be like <coughs> it takes like maybe if you just walk it, it's like maybe half an hour. Oh, if, yeah, it just no, by sure. just walking. Because I used to walk from high school to home yeah. a lot in senior year, and just through high school in general. Yeah, so you took, so you know it's a, a while. It is treacherous, especially on the way back. Yeah, because you have to walk up that hill. Yeah, terrible, terrible in the uh, in September. Terrible in the later months of the school year. Yeah, dreadful. Yeah. I guess this episode is called What the Dog Doing.